Check it out. Look what he's doing up there. Tr fucking Buzz, get out of the way. Let me click on that here. Buzz, get out the way. You see that? He's over here. Making drugs. Blackmail letter to Jacob Manichek. What is going on? Everybody, welcome to Beholder. I'm your host for the evening, the Birdman, known as Falcon. If you're familiar with the channel, you are probably already familiar with Beholder, but in case you are new, I will give you a small little rundown. What this game entails itself as is a game where you play the role of a landlord who is kind of put into place by the totalitarian state-controlled environment. It's like an entire dictatorship going on, and you are placed over here as the landlord to spy, profile, eavesdrop, and ultimately report your tenants to the government whenever they're doing stuff that's against the, I guess, the dictatorship laws and what they have, uh, I guess, like, prohibitions on. Now, the game, there's a lot of morality choices as well, because you either could do the right thing and not rat on your people, or you could just be a complete government scumbag and report every single thing that they are doing back to the government itself. So the game has a lot of moral choices, which is actually pretty cool. We played this in the pre-release version, which was actually kind of fun. This here is the full release now, so I'm hoping that we have a more stable version, there's a better fluid translation going on, etc, etc. So, without further ado, let's actually get into the game here. Dear Carl Stein, we are happy to announce you've been appointed a landlord of the Class D apartment block on Krushvitz 6. You must arrive there immediately and start working. of allocation. You must be Carl. Good afternoon. On behalf of the Ministry of Order, I welcome you to your new position. What's going on? We're merely driving past out of the house. It's of no concern to you. Alright, let's agree. As you wish. Your predecessor was unable to cope with the easiest task. If a person occupying an important position can't cope with a simple task, there's only one outcome. He did that intentionally, i.e. he became an outlaw. As of now, everything your tenants do is your business. And the word everything means? The word everything means absolutely everything. You will follow their every step and document any suspicious activity. That is, if you want to earn a reputation for being a good public servant. If you're going to be a perfect beholder, document hobbies, interests, and even conversations. How can I do this? Observe and record. Surveillance cameras will help you. Let's start at the beginning. Have you ever managed an apartment building before, Carl? Do you need any help? So I've already done this prior, so I'll go ahead and give you guys a easier, quicker rundown. So let's go ahead and decline. I don't need help. Here's your journal. It's located in the right side of the screen. Let's come to the surveillance. Set up surveillance cameras in your house to simplify your work. According to your documentation, your predecessor received two of them. Find them in your office, which is to the right of this room. Alrighty. So, I skipped the tutorial because I've already done this before, I could give you guys a better rundown, plus it'll just tell you about what all these things over here on the side does, but 
I will explain to you as we go forward here. Uh, this will be essentially what task we have, our current quest at the moment. This will be an easier way to kind of like uh, keep tabs on all your tenants and find out their interests, their information collected, so on and so forth. This bad boy over here will tell you about the current um, laws in the state, so whenever somebody breaks one of the current laws, you could report them for it. And down here it'll tell you like your rewards that you get, so, you know, easier, quicker rundown. Um, at the moment though, we have to collect a couple of cameras that we have to install, which are back down here if I'm correct. At the moment we're zoomed in, but soon enough after we get out of this like still tutorial phase, we'll be able to zoom out of the entire first floor down here and get an entire scope of the entire building up above. So right now we'll just take everything over here and that is all we gotta do. Um, over here we'll be able to check out cameras and also make our reports. Over here we have to call the government on occasion. You also have to make sure you pick up their calls every single time, otherwise bad things happen. We could also go ahead and start searching for items around, which will give you information about people, and also your own family as well. I do believe there's a way to kind of report your own family if you want to be the ultimate scumbag, but you know, we'll see if we do that. Great, you found the cameras, install them in the dining hall, follow me. <laughs> this guy, this guy is really round, isn't he? Look at this guy, like my dude is a pretty hefty guy himself, but man, this guy over here looks like a fucking egg. You're shaped like an egg, my friend. So you're gonna install the cameras over here, right? I got you covered, dog. I got you. This ain't my first rodeo and behold it before, man. Camera number one. And camera number two. Not sure if I was supposed to talk to him beforehand. But maybe he'll give me like an extra reward for just taking the initiative. Like, hey, I know what I'm doing, dog. No, no extra reward? Alright. Bruno Hemp. <laughs> you're doing fine. Here's your first reward. Spend your money on things you need. You'll find them at the shop. You receive surveillance cameras as you earn reputation points. Reputation points show you're standing with the public. You receive them for completing tasks. You can also use them for personal gain in order to persuade the people around you to do what you want them to do. Unfortunately, I have issues to deal with at the ministry. However, we can call. You can call me anytime from your office using your private line and ask me anything. By the way, Carl, I strongly encourage you to answer the phone. Remember, you and I serve our great people, and completing the orders of the Ministry is our bread and butter. It's also our water and air. Here's the main thing. Several tenants are at risk. Your predecessor couldn't handle things. We're hoping you'll do better. Just tell me how. First of all, watch the tenants closely. File a report as soon as you gather evidence. The police will take care of the rest. Between ourselves, our great state can be very grateful to those who do their work well. The Ministry can turn a blind eye to forgery and blackmail if they help you achieve your goal. Alrighty, I'll do my best. Forgery and blackmail, huh? <laughs> I'm all in. I like your enthusiasm, but be slow to call your to call our department. You can always ask your wise tutor for advice. One last instruction, the key I gave you opens every door in the building. Make sure your tenants leave their apartment before you enter it. Many citizens still think their private life is their own business. Let it be so. Now get to work. Alrighty, and we do have our phone call here that we have to answer because that is the Ministry. You can indeed run if you double click as well, alrighty. On occasion I had like trouble in the past with moving around because it, it is a 3D perspective so if you click back here he will move back forward but sometimes it can get in the way, I hope they've kind of like, you know, worked on that here a little bit as well. Uh, new government directive received, we'll see that here pretty soon but for now let's pick up this phone call. Ministry of Order, your call is accepted. Hello, Carl. You've learned your main duties. Are you ready to receive a task? I am ready for the task. Establish surveillance in apartment 2. Jacob Manishek lives there. You can always buy the cameras you need at the state shop. Only enter a tenant's apartment when they're not home, and be careful. Alrighty, glory to our striker or whatever. Okay, let's see what the, the current law here is. Directive number 6037, that's the old one. This is going to be for it is illegal to harbor criminals or hide their actions, and 6038. The production of political propaganda is prohibited. Okay. Now, our current task here at the moment is go to search uh, apartment number two, search it, and install cameras, and gather data on Jacob Manichek. Can we zoom out now? There we go. Alrighty, guys. And here is going to be the entire building. Over time, we'll be, um, I guess, bringing people in, like tenants in the future. We'll fix up these apartments, and we'll have this whole completely decked out with people. We'll be keeping eyes on and stuff like that. See who's being a proper, you know, public servant and who's being a scumbag. Now, it seems like my wife is over here having a talk with this guy. Hey, what's happening here? Klaus, you stop yelling at my wife! Hello! Get acquainted. Hello, my name is Carl. I'm the new building manager. My name is Klaus Chimer. 
you will manage the building that used to belong to my family. The previous manager had already turned it into junk. I hope you can fix this. I'll do my best. Ask about his apartment. Did the house belong to you? That's right, it used to belong to my family. I wanted to turn it into a boarding house for gifted children, but it was converted into a residence hall instead. This isn't so bad, you haven't seen the living quarters on level D. You're right, our situation could be worse, at least we're free. One can play chess at liberty, this is expensive. You saw that, how that was in red? Uh, let's see if I could just pause the game, here I can. So, can I check this out? Cool. So I'm gonna pause the game so time isn't running because our a lot of our quests will be time um, sensitive as well. But that wasn't read because that was information that we picked up on Cloud Shimmer. So we come over here now, we know that he likes to play chess. So whenever some sort of directive comes up with chess for whatever reason, we could use that against him or, you know, in his favor if we're trying to do him a favor as well. Uh, so that's cool. Let's um, unpause here. Let's also go ahead and talk to her wife. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What, Carl? Talk about work. I saw the police march a handcuffed person by me. It frightened me. Who was that, Carl? The previous building manager. He didn't handle his hoodies well. What a nightmare. Carl, couldn't the same thing happen to you? Don't worry, honey. I'll be a good manager. It's true, I will. <laughs> and I'll be a good manager by being a scumbag, so it all works out. Oh, here we have um, Marla Shimmer, which is going to be Klaus's um, <laughs> say husband. Wife. <laughs> not, his, not his husband, but his wife. Let's talk to her here really quickly. And I know we have a directive up here, but I need to, number one, take care of all this stuff down here. Get in more information about our current tenants for the future. Hello, my name is Carl. I'm new to the build I'm the new building manager. It's nice to meet you. I'm Marla Shimmer. Did you bring your family here? We just moved in. It would be nice to meet you. Get acquainted. It's nice to meet you. That's it? Okay. Down the line we'll probably get some more information, but for now we're good. So let's go ahead. I guess we could talk to our kids here as well, but eh. Let's go over here and start working on our very first quest, which is going to be apartment number two, which is down over here. Now, let's find out if Jacob Manichek is actually in here first before we bust open the door. Let's take a little peek. He's not in here. <laughs> How are you doing, Klaus? Oh, don't mind me. I was just um, checking the keyhole, making sure no renovations were needed. So let's pop this bad boy open. I don't think I saw Klaus in there or Jacob, so we should be fine. Yes, okay. We got to be quick about this shit, though. So let's go ahead and... Oh, dude, wait, 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 wait. Got to buy camera. There we go. Buy camera. Install camera. And afterwards, we gotta look around for any items that we might need to find any incriminating evidence on Jacob here. So let's start off with the bed. Come on, dog. Pump those legs. We gotta be fast about this. He could be back any moment now. Nothing in bed. Okay. Shelf. And this will work pretty much how it worked with the information. Whenever something really important shows up, critical, it'll be in red and we just click on it and we'll gather the information for the guy. Nothing in the armchair as well. So far, so good. Three more items to check out afterwards. Here we go. You can steal items as well. Now, the stealing option comes into play whenever you want to essentially frame somebody. You could steal something, plan it in somebody else's apartment or somebody else's person, and you could, you know, make um, the blackmail, as we talked about. How the guy said that he wouldn't mind it if we blackmailed or forged stuff to push the cause, I guess. Yeah, so we can indeed do that. But um, I haven't seen really much of a use for it just yet when I played it earlier. And this guy likes to gamble as well. Okay. So, we're good here. We checked everything out. It's time for us to leave. Oh, right in time, because there he comes. Leave the door. Leave the door. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> we're perfectly fine. How you doing there, buddy? Let's talk to this guy too, huh? What do you want? Get acquainted. Who are you? Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Carl. I'm the new building manager. Did I win a competition called Who Gives a Damn About the New Manager? I don't care about you and your deals. Wow, what a piece of work. Why are you sniffing around here? Don't you have anything better to do? It's my duty to look after the building. Watch yourself. It's not as though nothing bad could happen to your family. Wow, we. this guy's a piece of work. All right, Jacob. I don't feel too bad about putting a camera in there searching through your belongings. So let's find out about Jacob here really quickly. Let's come down over here. He's got dangerous tendencies and he likes to gamble. Now, any directives over here against that? All apples must be destroyed. It is illegal to store or consume them. So nothing over here at the moment. Now we got to call the ministry and tell them we have done our job. Very good. Now before we do that, before we do that, we still have a couple of more tenants to meet. I'm not sure if they're here or not. I would like to get some information on them as soon as possible. Oh, here's uh, Mark Rannick. Uh, what do you want from the archivist? Get acquainted. 
Allow me to introduce myself, my name is Carl, and I'm the new manager of the building. Mark Rannick is a respected archivist. <laughs> Why does he talk in the first person? Now, oh, now he's going over to third. I have to live in this distinguished apartment. <laughs> Mark Rannick is a... <laughs> Whatever. This guy is crazy and old, maybe. I hope you put everything here in order. I'll do my best. Try harder. You need this more than me. Get acquainted. We've met before. Don't you remember me? Do you remember me, Mark? I'm more worried about you than I am myself. Let's ask about his wife. Let's ask about his wife in that way if you'd catch my drift, huh? Apparently, my dude Carl is a swinger. Rosa works in the cafeteria. Always in the kitchen. She loves baking buns and cakes so much. She does it for a living. I wish she didn't smell like cabbage. Okay, cool. So we've gotten some information on his wife through Mark instead. That's another way to get information as well. Uh, let's knock on the door now and let's bring the wife out. And let's see if she gives us some information about maybe Mark. Come on, lady. I ain't got all day. I gotta call the minister right now. And I think we just hit a new day. That's what that little ominous tone in the background was. Alrighty. Now, Rosa, I'm having troubles clicking on you. There we go. Oh, good afternoon. Get acquainted. Hello, miss. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Carl, the new building manager. Oh, my name is Rose Rannick. It's nice to meet you. You must have met my naughty husband. <laughs> I told you they were swingers, man. We have a son, too. He's just like you, but he lives in the capital. Get acquainted. It's nice to meet you. Ask about the son. Our, our dear boy has become a boss. I haven't seen him in a long time. So long ago. All right. What about the husband? Mark has been working in the archives his entire life. He likes his job. He deals with a lot of papers, but not many people. He spends his vacation in the company of his fishing rod. All right. Some more information now on Mark. Cool. So that's all we need for now. Thank you very much, lady. Let's come on down over here and call the ministry. I, I got to my son and my daughter, though, don't I? Daughter's asleep, so I can't talk to her. Sonny boy? He's in the background. When they're in the background, you can't talk to them for some reason or another. I could forward time here a little teeny tiny bit. Maybe he'll finish up. All right, there he is. Patrick? Yes, father? Talk about work. I don't like your new job, father. Your boss is nasty. Do you like eating good food and studying at the university? Wear new clothes? Maybe you'll support us then. I'll never take... I'll try to find a job. I'll study and work at the same time. I hope so. I hate the mines, Father. I'd rather die than work as a slave. Mm-hmm. Talk about the mines. Have you changed your mind about being a miner? I hate the mines, Father. I'd rather die than work as a slave. Okay? Ask about the news. About studying at the university. I haven't missed a single class. To be honest, I didn't think you could secure a place in the university for me. Be a diligent student, son. That place costs a lot. Which is the reason why we're doing this job. I won't let you down, Father. And let's see, let's ask about a place in the university. I swear I'd escape if I were sent to a mine. I hate the mines, Father. Keep your cool. I've told you a hundred times that working in the mines is hard, but well respected. Household chores. I'm trying to help you around the house. I played with Martha recently. Okay. So we're getting some information over here. Son seems to be like very anti-government, you know. He's going through that rebellious phase probably. I understand that I was there myself. I had a Che Guevara shirt growing up too. I had no idea what it meant, but I saw people wearing it. I saw Rage, the Rage Against the Machine rocking it. So I was like, hey, you know what? If Rage Against the Machine is doing it, I'll do it too. And I got a Che Guevara shirt. Not realizing that by wearing a Che Guevara shirt, you're basically going against what the entire Che Guevara thing was about. Ah, uh, you know how it is though. Will you play with me? Not now, Martha. Ask about the house. Do you like our new home? I like him very much. He's big. And you? I like him too. We have three rooms. We used to have just one. Moreover, we have a TV. Will they take our TV, Dad? No, honey. Nobody will take it. Patrick says they sometimes show a cartoon. Nah, oh, isn't that sweet? She's happy. Alrighty, let's call the, the ministry here. By the way, Jacob's over there wandering around. He hasn't noticed that camera up there. I guess we hit it pretty well. Let's call. Um, let's go ahead and dial the number. Report a task. Ministry of Order. Congratulations, your first task was a success. You are rewarded. $500 and 50 reputation points. According to our sources, Jacob Maneshek is violating state directives. 
Spy on him using the surveillance cameras. When a camera detects a tenant doing something illegal, the action icon changes color. Click on the icon to add the evidence to the dossier. Attach the evidence you gathered to your report. Alrighty. We now have to gather evidence to report Jacob Manichik. Or we could gather evidence and then go ahead and blackmail him into giving us some money. And let me tell you, did you know that you could actually blackmail him, get money, and then report him? I know, it's very scummy to do, it's very scummy, but you can do it, and we might just do it. Check it out, look what he's doing up there. Tr fucking Buzz, get out of the way. Let me click on that here. Buzz, get out the way. You see that? He's over here. Making drugs. Making drugs, which is obviously against the law because our new government directive happens to be making drugs is prohibited. You know what? A lot of these are actually silly, but making drugs... Probably not one of the silliest laws here, I would say, right? So, um, that's actually pretty good. We have now evidence against them. We have to report them. Now, here's the fun part. We could go ahead and make the report now, or we could go ahead and blackmail them for some money, as I said I would do. So, you know what? Let's go ahead over here and set up a report. But not just any report. We're going to blackmail this guy right now. Blackmail letter to Jacob Manichek. Apartment number two. You gotta make sure you get all the information correct here, by the way. I'm not sure what happens if you fail it, but the game's very astute about, hey, get the report correct. Uh, you violate directive number, which one did you violate? 6040. From, uh, the date was September 2. And now I gotta put the evidence that I have against him. Which is gonna be over on his little profiling thing right here. So, if you don't want the police to learn about this, leave a thousand in the flower pot at the bottom of the stairs. Send that shit. Blackmail letter sent to Tenant Jacob Manischek waiting for a response. Leave workplace. And whenever he gets that letter, he will go ahead and probably leave the money right here if he's down for it. He could turn around and just kill me instead. So, um, remember, you can't really blackmail everybody, so we do have a little bit of risk here. You saw him with his little uh, mouth agape? Look what he's doing, yeah, he's putting that money in the pot right there. <laughs> All right, buddy. All right, buddy. Are you making a phone call? Don't you be calling a hitman now. All right, so let's go over there now, and let's find out if he really did leave the money for us. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Hey! Fee for silence. We will take it. <laughs> now, here's the fun part. In that, if we come over to this guy, evidence is gone. So, I've given him a chance. Turn over your evil ways, Jacob. Oh, you're not gonna stop producing drugs. Ain't that a shame, because now we are really gonna do the report for the Ministry. So guys, here we're gonna wrap it up for this episode. We'll come back next episode, we will report him to the Ministry, and we'll see what happens when that actually takes place. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up, leave a like. The support does mean a lot. I will catch you next time.